All right, guys. Hi, Lord Tamerlane back. With more obscurities in miniature. Today, because I haven't opened enough of this bone stuff yet, we're going to look at the Lost Valley expansion. And honestly, this is the one I was most excited about because it's all prehistoric stuff and it's perfect for paleo diet. So, we have our cool little volcano, pictures and stuff inside it. But honestly and truly, I'm, I'm afraid... <laughs> To open this up because of just how many bags of stuff all of these other bones guys have been. So give me a sec. I'm gonna slice this and let's let's start delving in, shall we? So on the top of the box we have little tidbits about the people that live in the Lost Valley, and I will leave that to you guys to read. There, raptors. Uh, more stuff. stuff. Damn. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Jesus, I didn't know this dude was this big. Okay. Look at this. This is the mammoth. I honestly and truly did not expect. He's a solid hunk of freaking plastic. Good God. I thought he'd be like an ogre size. All right, let's start ripping open some of these. All right, so we started tearing things open. What I was hoping was going to be the big centerpiece of the set was our hut, but it, it it's not that big. Look, here's our human compared to it. It's more of a tent than anything. Here is our Triceratops chieftain. I really like this dude. He's he's nice. I mean, he can hang out with my lizard men and. The sculpt quality is quite nice. He's this bone black material as well, and he's really solid. There's no bendiness to him even. I mean, he's rock hard. There's no bend anywhere, and what's interesting is he's pre-built. Let's see, what is this? This looks like part of the half, no, maybe they're full orc tribe. There's an orc tribe that lives in the Lost Valley. So we've got orcish cave women, Amazonian cave women. Think so. She's eh. not too different in size. Whereas our Triceratops run, you know, he's got a good size to him. Here's a couple of the Raptors. They're a bit bigger than I thought they'd be. They're a lot meatier, and again, they're this new hard plastic. They're really hard. I was afraid. Look at this. I'm, I'm pushing, push, 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 push. Nothing. They're not bending. They bend for no man. Also, our Orc Barbarian ladies pretty solid too this harder plastic material and then there's this god damn look, look at this thing i was not expecting him to be this big he's massive i mean really freaking massive and he was all in one piece too which is kind of surprising but you know whatever here i was hoping i was i'm really curious what the mammoth is going to be like then that actually was included with the fan favorite expansion this is the only expansion I was able to get a hand of, get a hold of, I should say. Interesting use of the fertility goddess on top of his maul. He's just freaking huge, and the detail is really nice. I'm I'm honestly wondering if he's going to give my Darklands stuff a run for their money. I wish I had one of the Darklands mammoth men, because this is this has got some heft to it. I could throw this and hurt somebody with it, probably. All right, why don't we open some more baggies and see what else we got in here, because, well, let's check out the big Anquiosaur. That, that's looking cool. You know what, I'm going to go grab the T-Rex. I don't know where I put him. Let's see how he measures up to everything here. All right, we're chugging right along. Um, worth mentioning is this weird, random dog dish type thing that was included with the hut that I overlooked. I don't know if it's supposed to attach anywhere. Uh, here's some more. We got another of our... Barbarian girls, this time orc girls with a spear. We've got the cave bear. You can't have a caveman game without a cave bear. Whoa. Who are you? A very early looking man. Very primitive, almost ape like. Interesting. In the grass skirt. Almost reminds me of these old. Maybe they were Marx figures my uncle had when he was a kid. Yeah. Okay, I, I I am set on caveman. Oh yeah, check out this dude. Very Neanderthal looking. 
I mean, I almost feel like board game plastic. There's not a lot of bend to them. And we got some more Raptors. Worth noting is that every Raptor that I have come across so far is in a entirely unique sculpt. We also have a large snake of some sort. Another Cro-Magnon Neanderthal type. And then above them, hovering here, is a stone giant ready to lob rocks at them. But he ain't, <laughs> ain't going to do much with the mammoth around. The mammoth owns all. all right, let's slide all that stuff to the side and let's get some more bags open and see what else we got. There's more coming here. And here is our next batch. Next we have a Cro-Magnon Neanderthal type with a bow and arrow so if you're going to be playing paleo diet when these guys get released you might want to keep your eyes peeled for those we have another of the orcish amazon girls and my thumb in the way very muscular with two clubs I'm going to upgrade your tribe i guess this looks like the matriarch of the tribe her base is kind of wonky but she's got a big old shield and axe and bling for an amazon lady and here we have some kind of a prophet cirrus. I think she hangs out with the orcs. Can't really tell. We have a Mahar. It might as well be a Mahar. You know, the Pelucadar series by Edgar Rice Burroughs. And then, I don't know, I mean, with this Aztec looking stuff, maybe you can go hang out with my lizards. Maybe I'll use them as a skink. Skink star priest, that's what I'm thinking. And here we have a big terror bird. A good sized bird. It's about the right size for him. I do like the fact that my dinosaur guys are a little bit bigger than the humans. And we're still not done. We're still not I mean, here, we're, we're, we're getting quite a pile of stuff here. And our centerpiece dudes in the back are just crazy. But, so yeah, yeah, we got a lot to go here. So let me push these aside and we'll keep on popping bags open here and see what else is in the Lost Valley. All right, moving on. Let's see what we have with our human friend here. So we have a little... Cave man type guy who does not want to get in focus. Come on, man. Uh, almost simian like in appearance. I wonder if they're like post ape pre human. I don't know. I'm sure there's a word for it. I don't know. We have our Ankylosaurus tribesman. Kind of short and squat. You can see here, but nice detail. We have our. Do they have a head? This looks like part of our Simeon tribes people. The priestess holding up a cow head. Maybe they're all worshipping at our fertili fart fertility goddess. She's got these weird bits that actually need to get plugged in on a couple of these spots. All the various offerings that grow go around her. It'll be an interesting one to paint up. We have our ground swath, and this was available in metal, but I think I will prefer the Bones version, because it'll be a lot cheaper. If you want more than one. And we have our, what is it, the Carnosaurus? He's kind of small. I was kind of surprised. I thought he'd be a lot bigger. But then again, I thought... <laughs> I thought our Mammoth friend would be a lot smaller. <sighs> so I guess that's where some of the budget went for size. Anyway, the first of our multi-part models this is kind of interesting. This is one of the Rune Giants. Um... Interestingly enough, one of the other rune giants is a multi-part kit as well, so I'm going to put them together, and then I think we're on to the last few pieces, believe it or not. All right, plugging right along, we have put our two rune giants together, and you can see next to our poor simian friend, they are quite the big, intimidating couple. we got to get their third friend over here. So we do have a female one, which is kind of nice. Those are pretty rare when you think about on the tabletop. Um... But yeah, they're, they're definitely looking big. Here's our horned lizard, which is not a bad looking little monster. He was included. I like our Parasaurolophus hadrosaur looking friend here as the giants descend upon us. So he's actually got uh, armor on his face. He's wearing like a shell helmet over his duckbill there, which is kind of neat. He's also this much tougher plastic, and interestingly enough, most of these giants were this harder plastic, except this one is a little bit softer, and he came in tons of pieces. I don't know why. The other giants, 
solid one piece for the most part. <sighs> and I think we are just about done. We are down to three, four bags. All right, let's see what's in them, shall we? Ankly sore, obviously. All right, and here are the last few pieces of the Lost Valley. So we've got our Quest for Fire, Neanderthal proto-human post-simian guy with a torch. We have the monkey child. Oh, we already saw you. My personal favorite of the lot, the T-Rex Savage. I mean, this guy is pretty neat. I'm really liking him. And finally, our Ankylosaur friend. He's pretty big. Now, his tail doesn't want to stay on at the moment, but, you know, he's... And nicely enough, he's got a fully textured body. Uh, some of our friends, such as this horned lizard here, didn't have a whole lot going on on the underbelly. Of course, he's really flat on the ground. Sadly, none of our big dinosaurs in this set come with bases, which is weird. We have our T-Rex on a base, our Carnosaur on a base, our Triceratops was not, uh, our horned lizard is not, the bear is, the Dromaeosaur, or whatever they're called, the terror bird, even our giant mammoth friend. So, oh god. You really, if you managed to get this in the Kickstarter, I gotta say, a good job for you, because you got yourself an awful lot of stuff and this is going to keep you busy guys it really truly will definitely be keeping an eye out for this stuff because if you're in the mood for any kind of prehistoric action on the tabletop i think this set or any of its constituent parts once they're released you really are going to get a lot of good use out of this i am super excited to get around to painting to these i haven't even opened the course set yet i mean i was more excited for this stuff than anything else that i got so you know keep that in mind this dude. Uh, anybody at Reapers watching, please, 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 let's get more of these guys. I love the fantasy caveman thing going on, and we need more dinosaur people. So with that said, this is Hylord Tamberlane saying thanks for watching, Obscurities and Miniature. Bye-bye.